am Shane. I'm Kelsey. And this, and this is, is Dixie. Dixie. And we're Love Hunt for Life. Today we are here with our friends Tom and Kirk. Shane and uh, Kirk have been working on this cargo trailer build for Tom for about a month now, a little yeah. longer. They did a whole lot of really awesome work and we can't wait to show it to you. But first we want to let you get to know Tom. So, do you know how big this trailer is, Tom? It's 10 by 6 inside. Okay. And roughly 6 feet tall. I can stand up as long as I don't try and be too tall. And this conversion is mostly based around assisting you traveling around in a box truck conversion. So there's no sleeping quarters in this particular setup. No, it's just, setup. Uh, just, I call it my annex. It's, it's everything uses water. I got a water tank, shower. I don't have a flush toilet, but the toilet will be in there in a sink. Okay. It's air conditioned with a 12,000 BTU mini split. And no heat, but I figure it just being in there, it's insulated, it'll, it'll be warm now. Yeah. Very cool. It's called an, I guess it's an amenities trailer. <laughs> it is the luxuries that we don't possess in our rig all in one trailer. <laughs> Was, if I'd have got a 16 footer, I could, probably could have just made it into everything I need. Right. But with this and the box truck, you're definitely set up for success. Uh, so Shane was a big part of this build, but also Kirk was a part of this build and has inspired Shane in his quest to become a tiny home builder on the road. Kirk, can you tell us a little bit about how long you've been doing this, how many vans you've built, all of that? I, my parents did it to me back when I was 17. First vehicle was a 69 Chevy van, the old flat nose. Figured out later they did it so I would move out of the house. And it worked. I traveled and I stayed in friends' front yards and did all that stuff. But over the years, I probably had about 50 different vans, converted most of them, several motor homes, uh, a couple buses, and a couple box trucks. Uh, I just think it's cool you can put everything together that you need in one spot and don't need the world anymore. It just makes life a lot better. Yeah, definitely. Well, these guys did an awesome job and we can't wait to show it to you. Tom, can we see the inside? No, I'd rather not. Actually, that's okay. I just don't want to be too cooperative. People will expect it. So okay. sure, yeah. <laughs> Sounds good, man. <laughs> it's uh, still messy yet, though. Housekeeping. Um, what do we have going on in this uh, basement this, this, this garage? This is the uh, garage. Garage stores and scores, stores of course paper products. But everybody needs those. A little bit of food and various stuff that, that you use and you buy in bulk because you don't want to buy one at a time. Got my bike in here. Water tank under here. 42 gallon water tank. And over here is a uh, back in the corners where the pump is and the fill on the side. So it's a lot of storage. It's basically just the garage and my generator. I've got a Honda 2200 that fits in there along with its fuel supply on this shelf back in behind the bike. And this probably won't go well while we're on camera, but this basically lifts up and pulls out so you can get in there and get at stuff without having to dismount the bike. Very cool. Putting it back is always a little more. Got a flat head there. Nailed it. Hey, how was that? You guys are good luck. Now don't fall on my face here. <laughs> All right, let's go see the other side of this wall. Okay, so Shane actually did all of the rough build-in of this cargo trailer before we left about a month ago and Kirk took over. Shane, can you tell us a little bit about what you did in this front corner and why it's built the way it is? Yeah, so this is a Vino style trailer. So we utilize the front corner. Everything was built around that. The, the outdoor portion of a mini split is actually built in this silly shaped wall in the back as well as the house the batteries are housed beneath it so i came in and built the cabinetry as well as closed in the v so the interior portion of the mini split could be built in as well as the countertop for the sink and then kurt came in behind me and made it all look very pretty <laughs> well we have a nice shower here this is i believe 32 inch wide and 48 inches long it's really quite large. Should be really useful. Now I haven't done it more than once, but this this is counter, but it this 
This folds up for the shower so that it's a full-size shower when you want it. But when, when you're not using the shower and you're just in here doing whatever, you can uh, put this down at first. I don't know if you want to see all this, but there it is. I haven't really done it that much. Okay, and then that gives you a ton of counter space in here. More than a lot of people have. That's more than most people have in their kitchens in their house. It is bigger than some. I, I, <laughs> I also figure it's going to be nice because it's more or less an ADA compliant shower because I am 70 years old. So I don't know, I forgot how this works. A little pin here. And this is just like just general storage back here for bulkier stuff that you want out of the way. And Okay, awesome. Nice little hiding spot there. And, huh? and when it's up. This is a nice shelf. You can put all kinds of stuff on it. Got this pin that goes in here, which Kirk devised it, locks it so if I hit the brakes, it can't come open. Very cool. And this part, everybody's got to have one of these. We don't like talking about it, but it's uh, disassembled in here now. But the bucket's gone, but. About <laughs> your toilet seat. A little bit of practice and that'll go smoother. <laughs> and then you got a nice comfortable toilet. I've used uh, one of those bucket things for with the lid snaps on it for two years and it's just not comfortable. This Very nice. cool. So now you can watch me fumble putting it away. It's just a matter you have to just go straight down in and there we go that went smoother and then the door it's it's bungee but the door will close that can be open and then you can sit in here got somewhere to sit and eat awesome well, so it works as a seat here. you also told me that this works for something else to get on the roof if you need oh, to I was just joking but <laughs> you'd probably tear the screws out of the wall or out of the door because it doesn't have much much meat in there i was kind of wondering if you'd try it on camera for us oh no <laughs> <laughs> I got all right what do we got here 1100 watt inverter 12,000 btu mini split the uh outside unit for the mini split is in the nose behind this stuff and we'll go around and look at those that later but so I got a sink, got a refrigerator. That's a winter 45 quart. Works great. Tons of storage in here. 400 watts of solar. Got a Renogy charge controller. And uh, should do fine. Shower, everything I need, I think. Got, well, this is a, can't see it, but back in here, there's a plug-in AC 120 volt, three and a half gallon water heater. Awesome. Which will run off my generator, so if I don't have solar to run it, I can run it off the generator and take a shower about any time I want. Very cool. So then around maybe to the front, see what we did with the mini split. Now this isn't all, uh, this isn't all like neatened up yet or anything, but the uh, mini split is just in here like this. Well, this is just stored in there because that's a line kit. It's not hooked up yet because everybody out here wanted a, a mint to come and hook it up. Three, four hundred dollars. I ain't gonna pay that. I know people in the business. <laughs> so when it's when I'm pulled over and I want to, uh, I need to run AC. To open these doors up and run AC. Pretty unconventional for the setting up these mini splits, but I think it'll work. If it doesn't, well, then it doesn't. All right, awesome. Well, For the space, it's a massive air conditioner. I mean, that's enough to do a whole room in a house. And I've got <laughs> like a quarter room, and this is all insulated with one-inch foam that fit in perfectly. Very cool. Well, Tom, thanks for showing us around. Is there anything else that you wanted to add before I get your builders in here to tell, to tell us a little bit more? Um, just that it's, it's nice to have uh, storage for stuff like the generator and gasoline that's not in the space that you have to use, like it's, we call it the garage. And uh, 
This is something a lot of people may not know about these Hondas. If you buy a, if you buy a special cat, they only have like a less than a gallon gas tank on them. But if you buy a, this cap and a little bit of hose and a filter, you can use any gasoline jug. And these have a fuel pump, so you fill this with gas and you put the lid on and it'll run on that gas. Well, it runs on the gas, pulls the gas in as this gas goes away, so you can run this thing for a week on a five gallon can of gas. Just this little stuff. It's got, a, it's awful heavy, but it got a big truck there right behind you. So that's it. We put a couple of uh, shore power connectors on here too. Shore power. Uh, it's a beast. It's got the V10 in it, so it doesn't go by gas stations very easy, but it goes up mountains just like they ain't there. <laughs> awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, hello everybody. What we've got here is a 6x10 cargo trailer that Tom purchased new. No windows, no openings, anything like that. It's not really a cargo hauler. But what he asked me to do is make it to where it could function as his outdoor amenities cabin, so to speak. So we built a garage for all the necessities back in the back. Um, Shane came in and did a great job for me, I'll tell you. I've had a lot of guys work with me and you explain something to them, what ends up happening is you get something totally different. He actually was on point on everything that I asked him to do and I really appreciated that. I'd hurt my leg and I couldn't get around and I was very thankful that he showed up to help me. Anyway, he roughed everything in and we took it from there, got all the windows in, ran aluminum up on the top for the solar panels, ran all the wires down, put the mini split up in the front, dual lithium batteries down there, all the controllers, six different circuits in it. He's got his own version of a compost toilet that you can see sitting over here. I'm holding the lid up. It does take some finagling, but it functions very well. And the deal is we had serious issues with what height we wanted everything at. And we didn't want him to make him sitting up on a high chair when he's dining. So that's why we do it this way we do it. He does have ample storage in there. And I'm sure he showed you the... Uh, extension for storage for fishing poles and all that other stuff uh, he's quite the sports but he enjoys that now the shower itself I hadn't done this before and what I really like about building bands is all these ideas that clog my brain I'm actually able to go and do it for individuals and make it different but anyway this is the way the shower functions it just comes right up as you can see it's very large and then you've got your shower head right here. 50% of the exhaust fan is right on the shower. So you've got plenty of room. Tom is getting older, even though he doesn't, doesn't want to admit it. But we put some nice grab bars in here for him to get up and down. It also doubles duty for a railing for the uh, shower itself. We've got his refrigerator, and it's designed to where he can sit down. Right now, we're just temporary wiring it for illustration purposes. But now... He can actually sit down, open this up, have his little table in here, get everything all at one time. And kitchen sink, hot and cold running water. All the electronics are down below there. We still have some loose ends to tighten up on this. Uh, recessed lighting in the ceiling with dimmers, all LEDs, the little small puck lights that are only 5 8 inches deep, very easy to install. And we've got the trim. We use the old burnt wood technique on it. Plenty of storage for the containers. And doing builds for people. I like them to get all the stuff they want in there out. And then I will build the shelves to fit all that stuff. So, again, I have appreciated Shane coming and helping. And uh, I really couldn't have got this far without him. Well, you guys did an awesome job together. Thank you very much. No problem. You got a pretty sweet rig here, Tom. Thank you. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm, I'm like, at this point, I'm just in awe. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> i to fill it up with water first. I'm I, did, sure. I pulled a Tom. You <laughs> yourself, did you? All right. He's bleeding. Kirk, you better go, to the, go, go down to the clinic. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. Make sure you check out our other social medias, including YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. For more updates on my personal builds and any other personal ones we run into out on the road. We'll see you all next time.
Bye, y'all.